Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you my powder foundation routine. I asked you all in my last video if that is something you would like to see and a lot of you responded saying that it is. So I decided to film it for you today. So this obviously is the finished look using the powder foundation. If you want to see how I achieve this look, then just keep on watching. To begin, I prepped my skin with the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm and the Benefit Professional Matte Rescue. I also used a lip balm on my lips just because mine are really dry and I use the Forever Living Sun Lip, so this has an SPF in it. For concealer, I used the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC25. So this is a little bit lighter than my foundation because I use it to kind of highlight. The reason why I'm using a concealer before my foundation in this routine is because I'm using a powder foundation and cream products don't work well on top of powder products. So you want to make sure you're using all of your cream products first and then going in with your powder products after. Here I'm just using my beauty blender to blend out the concealer. Next I'm going in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Light. As always I use this to set the concealer because it's a lighter colour so it's going to keep those areas light. Moving on to the foundation. So the powder foundation that I'm using today is the MAC Studio Fix Powder in the shade NC35. So this is more of a medium to full coverage foundation. Even though it's a powder, don't think that you're not gonna get a good coverage with this. This has amazing coverage in it and it's really good for anyone who has oilier skin. Obviously because it is a powder, so it's gonna help keep shine and oils at bay. If you have drier skin, then you wanna make sure that you're exfoliating and moisturizing well before using a powder foundation because the powder will catch in any dry areas. So moving on to bronzer, I'm gonna use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark Tan. This I kinda of use lightly in the areas that you would usually bronze or contour. I don't really contour as much anymore. I just kinda of use this to give dimension to my face while kinda of bronzing it up as well. For blush, I'm using the Makeup Store Micro Shadow in the shade Style and just applying that to the apples of my cheeks. Moving on to highlighter, I'm going to use a powder highlighter and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in the shade Gleam. And I'm using the top two shades, Hard Candy and Mimosa. And I'm just applying this to the tops of my cheeks and my nose, Cupid's bow, etc. For my brows, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Powder in the shade Fawn and use that on an angled brush really lightly throughout the eyebrows. And to finish off the eyebrows and set them in place, I'm using the Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade Medium Deep. Moving on to eyes, so I'm going to keep it really simple with my eyeshadow. I'm using the Urban Decay Alice in Wonderland eyeshadow palette and just using the two shades Dorm House and Chessboard mixed together on a fluffy brush and blending that all over my lids and a little bit underneath my eyes as well. Next, I'm using MAC Eye Coal in the shade Teddy to line the upper waterline of both my eyes. After that, I'm going to use a dark brown eyeshadow with a pencil brush and just smudge that along the upper lash line on both of my eyes. I'm using the Anastasia eyeshadow in the shade Fudge, but you can use any dark brown eyeshadow. For the inner corners of my eyes, I'm going back into the Anastasia Glow Kit. I'm picking up all four shades on a pencil brush and applying it into the inner corners of both of my eyes. And for mascara, as always, I'm using the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. To overdraw and line my lips, I'm using the MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Oak. The first lipstick that I'm going to use is the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the shade Naked and I'm applying that all over my lips as usual. Mm -hmm. 
And on top of that, I'm using the liquid lipstick in the shade Milkshake, just in the center of my lips to give them more of a poutier illusion. And this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up because it really helps me out. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. As always, I'll leave all of the information and the products, etc. that I used in the description box below the video, so make sure you check that out. And also, feel free to follow me on any of my social media platforms. On Instagram, it's at Chloe Voucher, and on Snapchat, it's at Chloe Vouch. So I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.